Can someone in Britain and the UK explain panto season to me? Because it looks... Oh yeah, if you've never experienced the magic of British panto, let me paint you a picture. So a lot of theatres put on a panto around Christmas time, and for some regional theatres, this is where they make all of their money for the rest of the year. So it's usually a fairy tale like Snow White or Cinderella, rewritten to be a very broad comedy with lots of slapstick and modern day references and puns. It has stock characters, so there's always like a lovely younger couple who get together at the end. There's always like a hammy, moustache twirling villain. And there's always an older woman played by a man in drag who's called the Dame. There's always songs, uh, there's lots of audience participation, and the costumes are insane. And they are serious business, and lots of TV and soap stars do them. And Gandalf himself is doing a touring version of Mother Goose. But even the most elaborate productions today pale in comparison to the Drury Lane panto of the 19th century. Panto season in this period is four months long with casts of, are you ready for this, 2,000 people. The shows have ballet and opera sections and some of them last five hours. In 1900, one newspaper wrote that the Drury Lane Panto is a symbol of our nation. Only a great nation could have done such a thing. Only an undisciplined nation would have done it.